In this question, we have the intensity graph for a double slit interference experiment. The wavelength is lambda. The distance between the slits is d. And we have to find lambda over d and decide whether the effect of single slit diffraction is negligible or not. As I wrote down on the sketch below, the diffraction angle between maxima is 0.01 radians. Since this value is given in radians, it is approximately equal to the distance between the maxima, in other words, the fringe spacing. Let's now turn to the equation on the right-hand side from subtopic 4.4, where S is the fringe spacing, lambda is wavelength, capital D is the distance of the slits from the screen where the pattern is observed, and lowercase d is the distance between the slits. Since we said that the fringe spacing can be estimated to be 0.01, I will substitute this into the equation, and I will get 0.01 is equal to lambda capital D over lowercase d, and by dividing by capital D on both sides, I get 0.01 over capital D is equal to lambda over lowercase d. We are looking for the ratio lambda lowercase d. The two possible answer choices for lambda over lowercase d are 0.01 and 100. Now we do not know the value of capital D, but we know that it represents the distance from the slits to the screen. Unless capital D is a fraction of a millimeter, in other words, a very small number, we will not get a hundred for the value of lambda over D. So logically, it makes sense to conclude that lambda over D is 0.01. Let's now look at the effect of single slit diffraction. Examining the intensity graph, we can note that it is possible to draw a single slit envelope on this graph. I have drawn this envelope in orange. Since there is a single slit envelope, we can conclude that the effects of single slit diffraction are non-negligible. Therefore, the answer to this question is B.